Good day. This is Congresswoman Stacy Plaskett. This Saturday, July 3rd, 2021, we as Virgin Islanders commemorate the 173rd anniversary of the emancipation of the enslaved peoples of the Danish West Indies. Immediately following that sacred date is the celebration of our nation, the United States Declaration of Independence on July 4th. Each year, these two occasions provide us a unique opportunity to reflect not just on the blessings of our present freedoms, but is also a reminder of the continued struggles for equity and justice in our islands and throughout the world. Over 100 years have passed since the historical transfer of our territory from the Danish government to the United States of America, and our relationship with the U.S. is still one of an unincorporated territory. Our ancestors fought and died to not only allow us to have freedom and a voice, but to have a level playing field to prosper. Our state of second-class citizenship transferred from the Danes to the United States follows a larger story of systemic racism throughout the United States and indeed Europe. Denied the power that residents living in the 50 states take for granted, Americans in the territories have a history of being forgotten and expect to be last, whether for basic health care, education, or other vital services. That is why I'm very proud of the work that I and my team have done to continue the fight for equitable treatment in federal funding, the COVID relief package, and the American Infrastructure Bill. I'm proud of the amendment we've included in H.R. 1, the For the People Act, which successfully passed the House and is being debated throughout the country. This legislation would include establishing a congressional task force to review federal voting rights and election issues facing U.S. territories. It would require the task force to make recommendations to Congress on providing U.S. citizens residing in the U.S. territories an equitable voting representation in Congress, voting rights in presidential elections, and full and equal inclusion under federal voting and election laws. My office has fought and ensured that the House of Representatives have had multiple hearings on status in the territories, from hearings on voting rights to federal funding parity, and most recently, overturning the insular cases which codify our colonial and second-class status. This Emancipation and Independence Day, I am both grateful for the freedoms that we do enjoy as Virgin Islanders and U.S. citizens, but I also remain fiercely committed to the fight for equitable, on-par treatment in Washington and elsewhere for our territory, these great Virgin Islands. Let's all be in the fight to fulfill the work of the ancestors from July 3, 1848, and step into the fullness of their vision for us. Happy VI Emancipation Day and Happy U.S. Independence Day.